They always do. They can expect full fields, a beautiful, lush, thriving turf course, still one of the best in the country. It's absolutely in magnificent shape this year, thanks to Johnny Hess, our, um, our turf czar. They can expect some remodeled areas and uh, in response to guest request, including a full service bar in the beer garden, um, high top tables, seating, uh, a new bedding pavilion. Um, we kind of renovated that with uh, picnic tables and you know, umbrella picnic tables, mm -hmm. uh, some new landscaping, a famous Faces of Atlantic City wall of fame, if you will, mm -hmm. in the first floor of the grandstand, and several new concession stands okay. for this year. Expecting as big a crowds as you had last year, I would imagine so. We're expecting big crowds again. We've um, expanded and included just a little bit of um, advertising in the way of a billboard or two and um, some direct mail pieces okay. this year, so that's nice. So far, I understand you drew like 11,000 the final day last year, didn't you? It, it was not the final day. It was the Sunday. Our Sundays um, okay. seem to be the biggest attendance days, oh, okay. which is interesting because they're not necessarily the biggest handle days right because we get an awful lot of families but we had we broke a 25 year record last year with over 11,000 fans okay. on track during the Sunday card okay and there's no there's no Sunday card this time is there yes oh there is indeed there is there is oh I thought it was like like cold one day or last yeah. one day. we're running from Thursday tomorrow April 25th Okay. The 26th, 27th, which is Saturday, is family day. Kids stay at the races. And the 28th will be the Sunday. Okay. No racing on Monday. And then we pick it back up on Tuesday. Um, Wednesday is our final day, the closing card that includes the $50,000 seventh running of the Tony Gatto Dream Big Stakes. That's our one stakes race. And then, so that's Wednesday, Saturday.